there is no telling the degree of pressure some of us are sitting on pressure every day your father says at your age i was already a millionaire you are now 35 shame on you you can't even send money back home and so all you are seeking for in god is his hand to prosper you so that you will buy a car and rush back home and say finally you want a car here it is if all i have is jesus i've got something more than gold i'll tell it to the world jesus is more than Truly, if all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I'll tell it to the world. Jesus is more than Prophesy gold. one more time. If all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I'll tell it to the world. Listen to me. When you see me teach like this, it is because the Spirit of God is ministering to us. Brothers, hear me. By God's grace, we will continue to teach you the principles that will empower you and make you great. But don't get into... That's why many young boys today are becoming criminals. Do you know why? Because they have told them you must bring... God gives people speed, I agree. But remember my teaching, when your soul dies for you to prosper, it's not true prosperity. Many young men right now are becoming criminals. And you know why? Because of pressure. And please let me encourage us, those of us who are parents here and listening, let's be careful as we put pressure on our children. Go and bring a man for me, to, a man that you will marry. Go and bring a woman that you will marry. Give us a child. We are waiting. Bring a car. We are tired. Let's be careful. It takes time for anything valuable to emerge. Allow people to go through the law of process until God places his hand upon their lives. Every one of us started from somewhere. If you saw some of us 15 years ago, there will be nothing in us that is desirable. But God was in the making. And we were given the opportunity to grow. We must give others opportunity to grow. Hallelujah. Don't let anybody put pressure on you and say, bring this. Some of you at home right now, you don't even have gari and sugar and you're embarrassed. Because when they tell you, confess, the, I am a child of God, I am a this and that, you are ashamed. There's nothing to be ashamed of my brother and my sister. Every one of us, there were times, we've seen, you, you hear me share my story here. I'm not ashamed of yesterday because yesterday was the ladder that brought me to my today. You are climbing your ladder, climb it with honor. When someone comes to your house and all you have is Gary, don't go and borrow minerals from any shop. Tell the person, as you know, as Apostle has been teaching, I'm on my way climbing the ladder. Sincerely, I don't have much physically. A wise person will say, I understand. We listen to the message together. A foolish person will say, you are a shame. Leave him to carry his ignorance out of your life. Are we together? I want to drum it. It is ugly to see men attached to things. The secret to getting things is to be attached to God. The more you are detached to things, they will follow you. You will drive them, they will refuse to go back. There is nothing in my life today, I stand by the truth of heaven under God. There is nothing in my life today, I cannot give. There is nothing that is too special in my life that cannot live. No. When anything enters my life, there is an orientation center before it finally arrives. It's given an orientation. You are a temporary asset. At any point, the master calls, you are out and you are going. The only thing that I will die protecting is Christ in me. 
who is the hope of glory if i fall down here my brothers and sisters and i stop breathing i know what you will do you will pray for me for a few minutes trying to get me back to life and then if it does not work the doctors will come together and you will rush me to shika and if they put a stethoscope and say ah this guy has died how can our apostle die <laughs> while you are talking i'm watching you i'm saying oh dear you better listen to my messages go back and get coin on i'm on my way i'm already going happy you pray for me to come back i see those chariots you are joking i'm on my way going. i mean apostle don't talk like this what if you die don't be foolish don't you know death also listens freedom came in my life when I stopped holding things freedom came in my life when everything minus Jesus in my life is a stranger everything in my life is a visitor no visitor sleeps in your house no matter how late he must look for bike and go away the only occupant not even a tenant is Jesus he's given me peace I'm telling you sincerely I live a very peaceful life the higher he lifts me the more confident I am if you are confident because an alert entered your account something will happen when the alert is no more there this is what God is working in you today I know it looks like time is going but pay attention could this be why you are praying and blessings are never coming because the affinity you have for those things is a risk for God to trust you with it there are preachers who want anointing so bad they will remove Jesus to create space for the anointing Jesus come out let me have some more space for oil Billy Graham never performed any known miracle as we know i don't believe that is the optimal for a preacher we should press to every dimension available but one thing we know is that billy graham changed lives his gospel molded civilization captains of industry listen to him kings listen to him that is true wealth come up hither and the first thing he saw was the throne room come up hither and the first thing he saw was the throne room when he was down he saw different things but now when he rose higher his attention was called to the worship of only one person the rain is almost done we'll pray one more prayer and then I'll take the altar call and then we'll be ready to dismiss ourselves when the rain is done but please hear me the Lord told me something years ago he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you I thought it was a joke and I said Lord you mean that I become a mirror it's easy for me it's easier to reflect Jesus in our world today than to reflect yourself. The world will always show you something wrong. So reflect Jesus and be at peace. If you reflect yourself, they will say you didn't bab well this week. Your head is too big next week. Ah, you reduce it, it's now too small. You would have left it the other way. Reflect Jesus and enter your Sabbath hide behind the cross and let men know if he prospers me he only prospered so that his name will be lifted if he anoints me he only brought the anointing so that his name will be lifted listen please don't trivialize this night's teaching I'm, I'm pointing to you the origin of high blood pressure BP and all of these things come from this revelation I need to prove a point how will they know 
I'm not an anyhow person until I show. So let me get a job and show. My life and all that consists in this life has been poured like a drink offering. I've told the Lord, do whatever you want to do with me. Sincerely, it's a prayer. I have lost the pain and the psychological pressure that comes trying to live life my own way. I found peace when I lost the consciousness of trying to prove a point. I found the anointing when I stopped thinking about miracles and breakthrough. When I started thinking about Jesus and the people he sent me to, then the anointing came. For as long as I thought about my reputation, let people know that you called me. Very sincere, but it never brought grace. But I said, Lord, let them see you through my life. Give me an opportunity to be a blessing within the lifetime you have given me. Let me tell you this. If Christ tarries and my work on earth is done, I don't want it to be written in my grave. Oh, great man. This, all that is nonsense. He changed lives. Ah, what a testimony. He was truly a lover of God. And he, through his life, nations were restored to Jesus. If you can write that, buy a coffin of 2,000 and put my body inside it. Put it even inside pajamas. That's the closest thing to sleep. Use the suit money and give a man of God who is still alive. Don't waste money by mundane nonsense. I have learned the value of living. The value of living is living for Jesus. When you live for Jesus, you have cheated life. That in life and in death, you have won. You will live a happy life, depression-free. Depression-free. You learn that it is about you, but not all about you. Can I pray for you? Take it down. I want to pray for you. We will search for you and we will find you. We will find you with our love. I have searched for you and I have found you. I have found you. You've won my heart. And I will lift my voice to you in worship. And I will worship with all my heart. If you will search for him, you will find him, truly. You will find him with all your heart. That's the call tonight. If you will search for him, you will find him. You will find him with all your heart. Father, I cry to you, O God of heaven, on behalf of your precious people. I love them with all my heart and you know it. I desire that they rise to dimensions of rest. And I am showing them one of the ways tonight. That the way to rest is to live for Jesus. The understanding that you are the definition of greatness in a man. And that nothing, nothing can define greatness in any man higher than you. By earthly standards, money, achievements can seem to bring certain levels of influence. And they are important. But teach us tonight the all-surpassing excellency of Jesus in our hearts. 
the hope of glory, the crown, the zenith, the definition of greatness in this kingdom is Christ enthroned in a life. Teach us that the definition of greatness in this kingdom is not the acquisition of things, but Christ enthroned and exalted in a life. Help us, O oh God, to value your presence more than money, to value your presence more than gold, to value your presence more than the mundane things of this world. And Lord, in placing that value on you, may we lay up gold as dust. In the name of Jesus Christ, I detach you from any connection and any affinity you have to things, especially money. I declare that by this service, let there be a cutting away in the name of Jesus. The obsession that you have to derive respect based on the things around you, I pray that God will redefine value to you. I pray for grace to survive the pressure that comes from society to conform to a mold so as to be respected that you will teach all around you that true value is Jesus and Christ enthroned in a life in the name of Jesus Christ listen and I pray for you that whilst you focus on exalting Jesus may everything that you need even the things you did not dream will come to your life at this level may my God bring them to your life in the name of Jesus Christ nothing in this life will ever possess you in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray sincerely sincerely please walk on us walk on us let this detachment continue even throughout this weekend in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Now, please listen. Those are the other overflows. I know you may not be able to come, but there are people in here right now. Listen to me. On hearing my teaching tonight, the Lord is calling you higher, higher than the realm that you have been. And for many of us, Jesus is speaking to you, even through my voice. And he's saying, my son, my daughter, it's time for you to surrender completely and to receive of my life. Jesus is asking many of us, you've been carrying luggages. Please hold on, no movement, please. Let me just make the altar call. There are people here that the Lord is speaking to. Probably you're here for the first time. You've been here multiple times and the Holy Spirit is ministering to you right now. And he's saying, my son, my daughter, you have to relinquish attachment to these things. You need Jesus, not just as a religious proposition. Jesus did not come for Christians. His assignment is not to make Christians. His assignment is to lift men to become the lovers of God, representations of the life of God. You are here and you belong to any of these categories let it be my joy tonight to lead you to jesus nothing to be ashamed of if you are in the crowd and you wish to come i'm sure that the ushers will clear the way wherever you are i'm counting one to five our time is up please boldly make your way right to the front here right to the front here someone is bold enough to make that decision don't wait for someone to be the first be the first if someone is coming, please clear the way. I see a few people coming. God bless you. God bless you. Please clear the way for them. Is this the best you can do? I don't believe this is the only person. There are people the Holy Spirit is speaking to. The Holy Spirit is speaking to. Make your way quickly. Join them very quickly. Join them very quickly. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. He's given you a new beginning. This is why you came tonight. No matter how far, make your way. Don't say, Apostle, they are looking at me. Please stand. Please stand. They are not looking at you to laugh at you. God bless you, Ma. God bless you, Sas. They are not looking at you to laugh at you. This is a family. They are looking at you to encourage you to say, I rejoice with you and I salute your boldness. 
Hallelujah. In one minute, I believe that there are people too who are saying, Apostle, I remember making such a decision, but right now as it is, I know that I need to truly rededicate my life to Jesus. I'm not doing it for the first time, but I really need to do it seriously. I feel that the, the things of this life have strangled the reality of Jesus Christ in my life, and I need that restoration. You belong to that category and you want to join them. In one minute, our time is up. Please, quickly, quickly, make the bold step to come join them right now. It's not by force. Nobody will pressure you, but you know yourself and you know that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. The Bible says that in the day that you hear his voice, it says, harden not your heart as they did in the provocation and in the wilderness. Are you coming? God bless you. Join them very quickly. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I salute your bold decision. May I request all of you who are standing, just lift your right hand, if you will, and repeat this prayer after me. Do so with understanding. Don't be embarrassed. Jesus is here. The one you came for say Lord Jesus say it again Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you with all my heart that you are the Son of God tonight I have heard your word and I desire that you be exalted in my life therefore I receive your life in exchange for my life I receive your righteousness I receive your grace and I declare that from tonight and forever I am a child of God I declare that my sins are forgiven Jesus is my Lord my Savior and my King Amen keep your hands lifted Jesus thank you for these precious ones I decree and I declare over you that the life of God that is now within you will begin to produce and it will be effectual in the name of Jesus I plant in you a hunger for the things of the Spirit and I pray in Jesus name that you will continue to move from glory to glory you will mount up with wings as the eagles in the name of Jesus I bless you and I declare that the joy of salvation is yours. And you will begin to walk in the consciousness of this life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you very much.